Anyway, I can't let you or Sephiroth have the promised land. I see. I guess this means we won't become friends. In another time, we could have been the best of friends. We could have been allies. Yeah, let's see you all understand what game that is a reference to. Nobody is going to know what game that is a reference to. I'm going to repeat the quote again. In another time, we could have been allies or friends or something. Come on, I challenge you all in the comments section right below there. What game am I trying to refer to and probably failing? Anyway, Rufus has been shaking his head and it looks like he won't get dizzy because you know he's awesome like that. So, it's game time! And Rufus has a little bit of help, but we have our own edge. Deadly waste for you! And his dog there, who's called Deadly Nation, I believe, uses barrier on Rufus. Where that dog came from, I have no idea. Oh, we can sense it now. Dark Nation, pardon me! Ouch. Ow. If I let him do that to me too many times, that could be deadly. You know what? Okay. He has 66 HP left. So... He can just unleash another deadly waste. Sweep away the Dark Nation. And I might have to use one of my high potions in this fight. Ooh. You have been poisoned by our deadly waste. And now I use a cross slash against you. One. Two, three, Japanese symbol! Heh, <laughs> that's all for today. Are, are you kidding me? One cross slash and you're taken down? I didn't even get to sense you! <laughs> he, he let me win. Because he's just too cool. Yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. A protect vest and a guard source. Nice! Thank you for the gifts, your grateful, your graciousness. And the... ton of gill. Alright, now that that's out of the way, we've humbled Rufus. Let's go back downstairs and join the others. Cloud away! Cloud away! And President Shinra, for President Shinra, maybe I'll, would you like me to take the sword out of you? Okay, it's in there good. Going down, going down, going down. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It is possible to get into random encounters along the way, which is really stupid. And I shouldn't be faffing around like this. Hi, where's Rufus? I couldn't finish him. Looks like this is gonna get complicated. Let's go! Meanwhile! Front door! We are free! I'll go on ahead. Why? Whoops. Gunshots. That's not good. Whew. Cross! Surrounded, huh? If I was alone, this wouldn't be a thang, but... A thang? Really, Barrett? A thang? You do know that uh, Mr. Soto is going to have a, have a big day with that, right? I've got a reputation to protect. You all get out while you can. It's not you thereafter, it's me. Yeah, well, that ain't happening. You got caught up in this over Marlene. Now it's my turn to watch out for you. Okay, playtime's over for you, jackasses. Thank you, Mr. Barrett. Will you call him Mr. Barrett? That don't sound right. Yeah, he's Barrett. Barrett the Bomb! I don't know how I came up with that, but it seems like nobody likes being called Mr. or Miss. I guess they don't like Japanese honorifics. Well then, if you are through talking, may I suggest that we think of a way to get out of here? Those soldiers aren't going to just stand around in front of the door all day. Although it seems they are willing. I, I see a tent back there, and one of them has marshmallows. Huh? Oh, oh yeah. You a cold man. Just like someone else around here, I know. Who? 
Rufus? Did you say something? Not a thing. So what are we gonna do? Barret! Oop! Plot device to the rescue! AKA Tifa. Tifa, where's Cloud? Everyone, over here! Huh? What's up? Where's Cloud? I decided not to wait for him any longer. No. I'll tell you later. Hurry, hurry! Incoming awesomeness. Ooh, it's all CG-like. And Cloud is driving a motorcycle downstairs. That is awesome. This whole scene is composed of rule of cool, and a little bit of computer graphics, and a little bit of Windows Movie Maker. Yeah, Cloud doesn't even care. He just looks at them and is like, yeah, you gotta follow me. Ooh! Holy shit! Haha, <laughs> get it. Now he's, now he's, now they're driving upstairs. This is awesome. No doors, huh? I'm gonna have to make one. BAM! How's that for Minecraft up in this building? Whoosh! Whoosh! Control the bike with the directional buttons and save your friends in the truck from the Shinra Pursuit Troops. So, the square button attacks on the left, the circle button attacks on the right. Alright, so first off, we are given the team of Cloud, Baird, and Tifa. Alright, Cloud had all of the chips, so let's just remove all of that, and he'll keep the talisman. Well, let's just... You can have your steel materia back, and, um, form party. Who do I want in the party for the coming whatever is to come? Ooh, Nanaki, you're a higher level. You go straight in the party. And Eris, I have a feeling that your abilities are going to be in much demand later on. No offense to you two, the original trio, but Nanaki has a little more HP, which probably doesn't matter so much. But, um, your awesomeness will help protect us. And Eris, you have Healing Wind. That's pretty much all we need. So, you get your enemy skill, you get your sense, you get your sense. And why not you get your star pin- oh wait! Protect Vest increases vitality by 10, and vitality naturally is naturally occurring uh, uh, defense. And I hate agreeing, I hate furthering the stereotype that ladies are dainty. But that's just how stats work in JRPGs. Ladies have less HP and less defense, and sometimes less attack power. Except for Cat from Breath of Fire 2, quite possibly my favorite usable character in a JRPG. Then again, I have Breath of Fire 2 as my pet favorite JRPG of all time, so take that as you will. Alright, Cloud, ready to engage in an awesome minigame? Oh, hey, Barret, you mind giving me some cover fire while I ward off these Shinra soldiers? What do you mean you don't want to break the windows in the buggy? Then roll down the windows! Like that, yeah. And now you don't want to do it because you use up ammo? Since when did you have ammo? I, I am trying to protect you guys. The least you could do is help me out here. Okay, okay, I'll play the damn mini game. Jeez. Let's go. It's mini game time! Ha ha ha. Whoa. These graphics are awesome! Holy moly, it's all 3D and they're and they're riding on motorcycles! So the point of this mini-game is that everybody starts off at full HP, and the more the Shinra soldiers attack you, the less HP they will have for what is to come. And really all I need to care about is Eris and Nanaki, and unfortunately Nanaki is in the very back of the buggy. Ah! Unless you just stand back and just let your and just let your party members get pounded off by the 
Shinra soldiers like I'm doing now. Arf! Yes! So yeah, there is a little bit of strategy to this game. Mostly hanging back and keeping the red motorcycles from getting... Because the red guys are the smart guys. Just like in Time Crisis. Arr! I am genuinely trying the hardest I can. This isn't one of my playing up the fool for dramatic effect things. So yeah, there's a little bit of strategy. You uh, herd them over in front of each other so that when you take them down, they skid into each other. It's awesome. It's a good, it's a good break from the action. To just play some arcade-style thing, and there even is an arcade game modeled off of this mini game that's coming up. And of course, not so high stakes because it's in an arcade, and. It's just so random how easy or hard it is to kill one of these red guys. I hate this part where they have the alternate camera angle because the controls are also reversed. So you have no idea what you're doing is correct. Oh, the end is near. Whoa, what is that? And in that part, you can't avoid Cloud taking a little bit of damage. And... Alright, everybody is facing forward at the incoming enemy. Nice. We're prepared for this. It's game time! But what are you facing away for? Go, oh, turn around. Turn around. Better. Ouch! That didn't do a whole lot of damage. Ooh, this looks tough. Motorball. Alright, laying on with grenades. Level 19. 2600 HP. Whoa. We're gonna need we're gonna need a bigger grenade basket. But until he can get anything, we're just gonna be waiting on our limit breaks now. And at taking 37 damage, it doesn't really look like this is gonna be very intimidating. Yes, empty out your grenades against the motorball. And pressing up on the menu uh, takes you down to the item menu. So if you're on attack, press up, you're automatically at item. It's good if you want to. Ooh, twin burner. Ooh, that's more like it in terms of challenge. Ouch. However, rolling demo man always prevails in the end. Boom! However, we do always want to have a free a character freed up in case an emergency potion or high potion is necessary. Ouch! And once again, that wasn't very much damage. And I have run out of grenades. So we're gonna have to brute it out with regular attacks. That's right, Eris. You jam that rod into some necessary ratchet or something. I probably didn't even use that word correctly. Uh-oh. He's gonna do something. Rolling fire. Ah, this doesn't look too bad. Oh, yes, it does look bad. It looks very bad. Healing wind, please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ouchie. And that is why I have Eris in my party. You were so helpful. Up oh, cross slash. Ooh. Cloud, are you gonna have the last say in this? Alright, cross slash. One, two, three. Japanese symbol! Up, oh, not the last laugh. That is Nanaki's privilege. Good job, friend. Haha. <laughs> And we got an additional star pendant. That doesn't make so much sense, does it? Well, I guess if you want all your characters to have star pendants, then yes, it does make sense. Well, what do we do now? While we wait for Cloud to dramatically walk to the edge, Sephiroth is alive. I... I have to settle the score. And that'll save the planet? Seems like it.